What's up, Jigsaw Patients? Today, people, we're bringing you another episode of a Pokemon training card game online, Jigsaw Races. And before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just tapping that like button down below, because your support really does mean the world. Now, let's kick off every episode as we do, which is opening packs. And thanks to the hateful potato, once again, we can open three packs per episode until we get them down. So let's open up a breakthrough pack. Let's open a breakthrough pack and see what we get. See what we get. Can we get some power, please? Okay, we got Pancham, Hippopotas, Axu, Ralts, Woobat, Assault Vest. Any damage done to this Pokemon to the Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have a special effect energy attached to them is reduced by 40. That's very situational. Uh, Cacton, Fracture, Doduo, a oh, Reverse Hollow, sorry, Reverse Hollow Doduo, and Annoy Vern. Annoy Vern. So nothing too crazy. Let's open up a Phantom Forces. Let's open up a Phantom Forces. Forces! See what we can get. Can we get some power please? Mm, okay. We have Gligar, Pumpkaboo, Venonat, Dano, Fletchlin, Zwilus, Croconaw, Furfro, a Reverse Hollow Venomoth, and a Gorgeist, which we got in the last episode. But that one was Reverse Hollow. This is Hollow. Now, let's see. What what do we open? What what do we want to open? Let's open a Roaring, Roaring Skies. Let's pop open a Roaring Skies. It's the last pack to open. Let's see if we can get something crazy. Alright, we have Meowth, Pikachu, Wingull, Voltorb, Wormpool, a Healing Scarf, Wally, Palapur, Palapur, another wing goal, and then an Unpheasant with Evolution. You may play this card from your hand to evolve a Pokemon during your first turn or the turn you play that Pokemon. So you can get, um, you can basically evolve and then evolve straight into Unpheasant. Like you can evolve straight into Tranquil and then straight into Unpheasant, which is pretty cool because it gets you power on the field pretty quick, which isn't bad at all. Which isn't bad at all. But we are here to battle, so let me show you what challenge we're working with. We are working with the Reinforcing Challenge. Put seven Steel Evolution cards into play. Now, the deck I'm currently using, because I haven't had time to build a new deck, is Shimmering Steel. And the only Steel Evolutions in there is Belden, Metang, Metagross. So, we'll see if we can get some off in today's episode. If not, <laughs> it is what it is. And hopefully I'll be able to build, uh, have fine time to build a new deck before the next episodes. Riricio with a water fairy deck. Ooh, a water fairy deck. Let's go heads. Nope. Okay. Signal. Signal. What's this? What? What's this about? What's What's this? What is this? <laughs> Just stand here. What is this? What? What? What's this? Signal question mark shit. There we go, it's gone. It's gone. As I open up with a Xerneas, which can be pretty scary with that geomancy. Uh and obviously Rainbow Spear does crazy amount of damage. Hundred damage is a lot. Um I'm gonna guess on her next turn she is gonna go for that geomancy. It's gonna go ahead and great baller up. To another Xerneas. Okay then. Okay then. Now, to be comfortable, I would prefer to just get a regular energy this turn. But we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. You need to end your turn, Riccio. You need to end your turn. You've done everything you got to do. You need to end your turn. Thank you. All right, let's pop Thunderous down there. Um, let's give the Hard Charm to Kengus Khan. Let's go ahead and Sharon. Can we get a energy? We can. We also got Belden, which increases our chances of getting some evolutions off. And let's go for a triple draw. 
All right. So next turn we can start Kindred kicking the Hell's Bells out of this Xerneas. And at the same time, the next we can uh, start setting up Thunderous. So, not all bad. Not all bad. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ha, ha, we good. It's going to Geomancy. Uh, it's kind of loitering in the air there. Pop the Fairy Engine on the bench Pokemon, which is very obvious to do because what what else would you do oh my god we got mega con we got mega con we got mega mega con i kind of wanna go mega con can we knock this energy off okay <laughs> okay yep i really want to go mega con I'm doing it. We've got Mega Kickers gone! Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the arse in the long run, but we do have a Pokemon Center lady. The Maxis Xerneas can do is 100 points damage to us. The only threat is this one back here. It's a little scary. It's going to Geomancy, get, obviously get some energy on this Xerneas back here. Um, but obviously the Rainbow Force doesn't too, do too much. And the eight is not terrible considering we can s still heal um, 60. So let's go through our Wham Bam Punch. Can we get an extra? Another heads, another heads. Yes! Oh my god, this is destruction. Oh, that was sick. That was 280 points of damage. Holy shit! Someone called the Fire Brigade! Ah! Mega Kangaskhan has just burned a hole through that Xerneas! Holy crap! Alright then! <laughs> Alrighty then! Now what you can do? You even need another energy in your hand, and if you don't have that, you're screwed. To be honest. And either way, I think you're kind of screwed. Has another energy, though. Gonna get that powerful nothing. Because it's based on the typings in your in your uh, back. Not anything else. So you are kind of screwed. Sorry. Sorry to tell you this. But you are. We don't get any more heads. We only get 100 off. Which is a shame. Because it would have been nice to just end this early. Because uh. It's pretty obvious we're picking up the win here. Oh, managed to pop down a Lapras there. Which means that a uh, Rainbow Force will actually do some sort of damage. Not a lot. There was, that was a waste. I do base 100 damage. That was a waste of your Pokemon Center Lady. Uh, I had hopes for you. I had high hopes for you, but you went and screwed it all up. So, what am I meant to do? Wham bam punch. I never had high hopes. Oh my god, it's getting destroyed again. 220 damage. We just wrecked two Xerneases. What? Then Lapras comes out, can only, unless they have that energy, can only really go for a Seafaring, but even with Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump does nothing to my Mega Khan. There it is, there it is, there it is. Doesn't want me to just click that button, but it's fine. We pick up one win. We're going to go in for two more battles to make sure you stick around. You stick around. Two more battles. Coming your way. Thank you. Thank you. Can I click play? Thank you. Let's jump into a second match and see what we can do. Can we get and steal evolution off? That would be rather nice, but I don't think so. <laughs> Sonaka Nanako. Uh, psychic normal. Now, see, now, when I see psychic, I just think, I'm just going to see that pain in the ass Mewtwo and... I'm going to be screwed. Now we do have... 
Oh, opponent had no basics. <sighs> Do I want to leave with Skarmory? Do I want to lead with Skarmory? Yes, because I have a Silent, so I can get any energies I need. Okay. We also get um, an extra card because obviously they didn't have a normal. Okay, I feel like this is going to be Mewtwo territory. Is this really Mewtwo territory? They actually got two cards. After all that waiting, they got two cards. Right, give me the cards. We got another Steel Energy. And there's the Mewtwo. <sighs> it's just... This Mewtwo just kills the game. Honestly, this Mewtwo kills the game. That's not me being salty or anything like that, because I understand that it's a good card and that's why people use it. It just kind of kills the match, because it's like... Unless you are set up in the right way... You cannot do anything against that thing. You cannot do a thing against that thing. Which really sucks. Really does. Um, it's going to try and either... I think it's going to try and put me asleep. Because obviously they're just using them to... We wake up instantly, which is awesome. We do have Team Flare Grunt, which could help us down the line against that very Mewtwo I'm worried about. I'm going to go for a Joust, get a solid 30 off. Could it very well come in handy against that Mewtwo. Also has a Hooper EX. Jesus Christ, dude. You got some power. I haven't actually seen a Hooper EX. What does it have? Ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for up to three Pokemon EXs. What? Okay, he has two broken cards on his deck. Fucking hell. Three of them? Oh my goody goody gumdrops. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, we lose. <laughs> I don't. Fucking hell. Mega fucking Mewtwo. This attack does 30 damage times the number of energies attached to both active Pokemon. We're going to get wrecked. We are going to get wrecked. Fact. There's no escaping it. It's fact. We're going to get wrecked. I'm going to joust this roll because there's no point going for a tailspin pole driver and all that craziness. This Mewtwo's coming in. This Mewtwo is coming in. And he gets to use 30, 60, 90, 120 damage. If they attach an energy, that's 150 damage. Double colours, however, takes me out. I hold on, resisted and hard charm. Ooh, I don't know whether this act. No, wait. Oh, I should have fucking. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. I should have teamed for their grunt. I should have teamed for their grunt. That was stupid. Well, we're going to get a solid 80 off. But this thing has so much fucking HP. Ugh. This thing has so much health. I don't know if we're going to break through this brick wall. Especially if it heals. <laughs> we are not breaking through. We're done. We're done. There's no way we're winning. There is no way we're winning. This card is so broken. So fucking broken. Uh. 
Yeah, fuck your double cutlass. <laughs> Get this powerful 60 damage bite off. Yeah. I don't think we live a hit anyway. 30, 60, 90. No, we don't. Wait, we have the... Oh, uh, no, we have muscle band, not hard charm. Yeah, we lose. And they heal. <laughs> It's so broken. But this is what you get when you play uh, Infinity Decks. Is it Infinity? Is that what they're called? Infinity Decks? I feel like that's not what they're called. <laughs> I feel like that's not what they're called. I I, I mean, I, I fight to the very end because a lot of the time people are doing challenges and stuff. Like, I am. So, I fight to the very end to give them a chance to do whatever challenges they want to do. Yeah! 10 damage. Go on, do what you gotta do with your broken ass deck. With your broken ass deck. Cool. Cool. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. You are an amazing player. Absolutely amazing player. I couldn't fault you in any way other than the fact that you're using a broken technique, of course. That that could be one of them, but I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to bring up that you're using one of the most two of the most broken cards in the game. I'm not. I'm not bringing it up. It's all based off your skill. It's all based off your skill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I have gone to lo La La Land and Loopy Dee Doop Dee Doop Dee Doop Dee Goop Dee Land. Can't attack me. Go for it. Go for it. 70 damage? Fuck you. Take that 50 damage, prick. It doesn't matter unless I get a double colourless. And even then, it doesn't matter. So, it's whatever. It's whatever. Really is whatever. Because he does 30, 60, 90, 120. We live, actually, which is surprising. Um, but we can't take him out. We can't take him out. We cannot get past this Mewtwo. Which sucks. Which does suck. If he didn't have all those healing items, we probably would have got through it. Um, but then we would still have to deal with that chandelier. <laughs> chandelier. Chandelier. <laughs> Burned and confused. Jesus Christ. Come on, Sonoko Nakano. Sonoko Nakano! Come on, buddy. Inactive? Sharp. No way. I was going to say... You do not throw that game away. There is no way you throw that game away. Gengar EX. Oh, would you look at that more EXs? You know what? If I was running a Suicune deck, he'd have been fucked. He'd have been absolutely fucked. Oh, man. And there's a fucking evolution. God damn it. God freaking damn it. Well, why not go kicking and screaming? Kendrick, kick! Don't get the extra damage. Fuck! Why don't you kick me in the teeth while I'm dead? <laughs> Shit! That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We had no chance of winning anyway. Anyway, even if we did get through the Mewtwo, his deck is very broken. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, cool. Moving on very swiftly into our third and final match of today's episode. Third and final is Natu96 with a normal water and grass deck. Normal water and grass. You know what? I never clicked towels and I just won it. X Files kind of shit. <laughs> uh, 
Do we really have to lead with a fucking bolt orb? <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay. This is going to be tough. And probably not going to end well. Alright. Volt Orb, do what you can do. With your powerful 10 damage rollout. <laughs> Whoa, you had a lot of Pokemon to start off with. Jesus Christ. Can we get something else down the bench? Like, a bit of... You know, back up. That would be really cool. That would be... Oh, fuck off. You know what? I actually hate with a passion Hypnotic Laser. Like, you understand? With a passion, I hate Hypnotic Laser. We actually did get Electrode. Ooh, that would get rid of the poison... That would get rid of the poison. And rollout would do more damage. Then it's measly 10. Because we're going to suffer a total of 30 damage. They can't... They can't dish out any damage to us. Without any energies. So... Uh, this turn. Even if they had energies. Sorry. Poison's going to do its thing. And I'm going to evolve. Get rid of that poison. Should I heal up now? <sighs> what does spire spring tires do? Oh. oh, that could take us out. All we need is two heads. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till next turn. See what we can do. See what we can do. We need electric energy and we need some backup as well. So, either or either, that's not considered backup. Fucking hell. That is not considered backup. Alright, roll out again. We're just like chipping away at it with our little electrode here. That's uh, an again, he didn't get no energies. We get a Porygon. I'm going to place the double colorless on Porygon, because obviously we have Porygon 2 and Porygon Z, so a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. We've got him down to 70, which is less than half, which you'd never expect. You really wouldn't. <laughs> Are you serious? You don't have any energies. You have not come across any energies yet. That seems a little hard to believe. Now, we've come across people before where they've built decks and not put any energies in them. And we just, like, you just hammer them away and they're like, I don't know why I can't attack. And it's because they haven't got any energies. Um, Have we come across a person like that now? Lightning struck. You may do 40 damage plus 60 more damage if you discard all electric energies. I don't think we've come down to that yet. So we're just going to lightning strike. Do damage if you do go do that. No. Just do your, your 40 and get rid of the Ky Ky Kyogre. I thought I thought they was um I thought they 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 DC'd. I thought they they decided nope, concede. But they didn't. But they didn't. Question is, who's he gonna go out to? Goes out to the Curim. Interestingly enough. Um, but until he starts placing energies, I'm not scared. In the slightest. Are you just gonna end your turn? What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do when we come for you? Ah, Brioka, Brioka, 619. Come on! Chop, chop! I wanna make myself some dinner. 
I'm starving. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm hungry. A dive ball. You got yourself a Galali EX. Good job. Full up. Pretty cool card. You have no energies. I am astounded and shocked that you haven't found a single energy this entire time. I'm astounded and shocked. Like, what? Where are your energies? I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. Where are your energies? Who are ah da 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 da? <laughs> I mean, I'm there. It is. Outrage! Oh shit! Does that take me out? Oh, we live on a sliver. I think outrage does more damage based on how much you have. So maybe it's time to discard all energies and do a hundred points of damage to this thing. Maybe it's time to do that. Place Electrode. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Lightning Strike. Yes. Should have saw it coming, to be honest. You should have saw it coming. And I get another Pokemon Center Lady. That's awesome. What's your backup plan? <laughs> you should have seen that coming. He should have seen that coming. I don't know why he didn't, but he didn't. <sighs> Electrode's holding the fall. Electrode is holding the fall. Now, if while he's holding the fall, we can get like Belder, Matang, Megros, I'll be like kind of happy because that would help my challenge, but it's what it is. It is what it is. Alright, so he's going to set up the magic up, so I'm guessing maybe, possibly have a Gyarados in the back, but the way you've been playing, I cannot guarantee it. In the slightest. <laughs> Not in the slightest can I guarantee that you have one. Alright, so we just had 20. 20. All we need is another electric energy. We can start doing some more lightning strikes once again. There's the Gyarados. There is the Gyarados. Hydro Splash takes so many energies. Like, so many energies. That's insanity. That's crazy. Do I really want to use my steel type energies on Manetric? Sure, why not? <laughs> that was a quick decision. All right, roll out. One more roll out. This is gone. Can we just get electric energy so we can dish out some crazy damage to the Gyarados? That's about to come in. Which shouldn't come in because you should keep it in the back and try and set it up for as long as you can. Mm, but we know it's coming in. We know it's coming in. Boom, you're gone. Next. Electrodes kicking ass. We got another electric energy, which is perfect. Which is perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on. Nato. Nato. I'm hungry. I want food. Let's go, Nato. Did you get another energy? He did! So he's gonna get to do 24 to go. I think he takes me out. Ooh, nearly, buddy. Nearly. You nearly got me. But unfortunately for you, I'm super effective on you. I can also heal. Which also kind of sucks for you. And I'm gonna go for a lightning strike. I don't need the extra damage. Because obviously it's doubled anyway because it's weak to it. So it's a two shot regardless if I got rid of them or not. So obviously the smart thing to do is not to get rid of them. It has a Suicune there which would shut down any EXs I chuck at. 
but the only EX I've chucked out is Aegis Slash, and I'm not even setting him up, so I don't really care. To be honest, don't give a damn. Do not give a damn. Lightning Strike. No thank you. Bada bing, bada boom, bye bye, Gyarados. Two more to take out. We've got Hard Charm there. Goes into the Reggie Gigas. You've got a lot of setup to do him unless you get a double colorless. Ooh, so he's actually going to take out my electrode there. Which is quite interesting. I kind of want to go into my Aegis Slash, but I know that it just coaxes the Suicune straight in. How much health you got? 180. Let's go Porygon Z. Let's go Porygon Z. And let's attach the Heart Charm. Let's go ahead and Team Flare Grunt. Get rid of that Double Colors. Attach my Double Colors to my Aegis Slash as well as the Life Dew. And go for a try attack. Can we get three heads? No. Yes. Yes! Alright, that's 100 points of damage. You know what? I will take it to the bank and cash it. Take it to the bank and cash it. Ah! Take it to the bank and cash it. Ah! So he's not someone who didn't have any energies. He just has either hasn't got many in his deck, which is always a bad move. It should be one third of your entire deck. Um, actually switched him out. Well, that's kind of different. Um... I don't know why I was going with that. I completely lost my trailer fall. <laughs> completely lost my trailer fall. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, let's attach this to Kengar's Khan. Go for another try attack. Remember, if we get three heads, we take him out. One. We only got one that time, but that's fine. That's fine. This Articuno is just here, you know. Can put me asleep, but that's about it. And that's only if he's got an energy, and as we have seen before, he's struggled with his energy so far. So I'm guessing he hasn't built a mat a deck with enough energies in. You need to refine your deck, buddy. So what you gonna do? I really need Beldum. I want Beldum and Matang. Because I want to get some steel evolutions off! There's the silent. He's actually going to get himself some energies. Question is, are we going to wake up? Can we wake up? Come on. Come on, Porygon Z. <laughs> Please get two heads. Please get two heads. That would literally make my day. <laughs> it would make me so happy. One, two. <laughs> Every attempt he's made of a combat just gets shut down. Every single attempt. Goes back out into the Reggie Gigas, which is probably a pretty bad idea because I only need two heads and you're gone. I mean, he does have some... <sighs> you butt crack. You absolute butt crack. You switch my card for what reason? For what reason? That doesn't help you in any situation. I just healed off every single bit of damage you've done to me. You dum dum. You dum dum. You just sealed your fate! I was running on chance and you sealed your fate! Yeah! But that does mean we pick up two wins, one loss today, which is not bad at all. Which is not bad at all. And I think, does that mean we get some coinage? Yo, we've got bang on a thousand coins. Would you look at that? Well, bang on a thousand fifty now. <laughs> or did it automatically update? So I have a thousand already. Yeah, okay, I've got bang on a thousand coins. That's something. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, because we're going to wrap it up, then please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. 
I've been Jamie Jigsaw. I upload daily, and I'll see you guys next time.